Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today I'm going to do a tutorial about selections. <coughs> Inside Lightroom, we have the adjustment brush. So if we hit the D key and go into the develop module, we can, you know, grab our adjustment brush. We can turn on our overlay by hitting O, and we can come in and paint a selection on this flower. You know, this is just a rough grab just to show you that we can paint a selection and we can make a selection and if we hold the alt key we can come in and clean it up and you know uh, try to get it all it's going to be a an, uh, uh, fighting an uphill battle even if you use a Wacom tablet so say we've done our adjustment and we want to you know change the saturation or something and we want to change the color of the flower let's get rid of the overlay and let's see here saturation you know we can change the saturation okay but we're affecting all this stuff in the back it's just not a good way to make a selection for intricate things if you need to do rough selections and fix skies and stuff like that it's great so let's go ahead and reset this if you hit control E you can move this file into Photoshop Photoshop, there's some tools that have been in there since version 1. They'll make making selections and specific selections easy. So let's go into Photoshop. There's the same flower. And I will show you a quick way to make a selection that will save you hours of times hours of time trying to mask it off with you know the lasso tool and the magic wand tool. So if you come over here and you type select and you come down to color range you're gonna find this tool is amazing first of all in CS6 some things have changed you can select skin tones but you can select what's called sampled colors okay so if we come in here and we click here you can see that it made a selection based on this color range in the shadow if you hold down the shift key it'll let you continue to make uh, color selections until you have everything selected that you want to be in your selection but it won't select anything else outside of that range control Z I'll back that up so I'm gonna click OK okay so now you see that it's made of selection and it's only around the flower it's not into the green and it selected the flowers in the background with the same color range okay so what we'll do is we'll make an adjustment say a hue saturation layer and I'll show you the mask that it creates with that selection so if we go to hue saturation and we select here it's gonna take that loaded selection and it's gonna put it in a mask if you click down the alt key and you click onto the mask it will show you the mask and you'll see that it's only selected that flower that's a lot faster than trying to use a brush tool or something else to make a selection on this flower so if you hold the backslash key, if you hit the backslash key, it will take you out of the mask. And we'll go into our hue saturation, and we'll change it. Say we want a purple flower. If you've messed with hue before, you know that the opposite colors, like if we go here, it actually creates these colors. And if we go here, it actually creates those colors. So if you mess with the slider, you'll figure that out. So if we want purple, we have to go to the opposite of purple, which is over here. And then we can adjust how much saturation there is and we can adjust how bright it is so now we have a purple flower but we didn't affect any of this green area and if we've made too much selection like this is encroaching that's actually wrapping we can choose how much we select or deselect during our original selection process or we can go in and paint that out we can go into the mask and we can get rid of all these other flowers say we wanted only this flower to be purple so all we have to do is go into the mask tool and load the brush and paint inside black and it will conceal so we'll hold down the control alt and we can adjust our brush and in this case up and down is going to adjust how hard it is and left and right will adjust the size okay so what we'll do is we'll just paint this in black and we'll bring back the original colors of all those flowers in the background and make this one stand out so we want this to be pretty hard we want this to be a pretty hard brush when we're dealing around this flower because we don't want it to affect the uh, 
the flower selection. And you can zoom in. And get closer. And if you mess the flower up, that's pretty easy to fix. So say if you went through the, the tip of the flower, all you have to do is hit the X key and that will change this color, X. And now we're painting in white and we'll bring that flower back. And X again and then we'll feather the brush a little bit. Let's bring it up so we can see what's going on. So there's it's feathered and we'll just let that feathered edge run around the, the corner of the flower. So hopefully that um, this selection will help you in the future when dealing with selections inside Photoshop and color range selection I learned from a gentleman named Rich Harrington and uh, he's a wonderful video and Photoshop instructor so if you ever get a chance to see his videos you might want to check them out so until next time I see you soon